I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat this. You don't want to get it. Welcome to another tag video. We are going to do the furry friend tag today. We coerced Penny Lane Waffles out of her hiding place where she usually is when we film because she is for some reason terrified of our camera. I have turned all the sounds off on our camera so I'm hoping she'll get used to it. But we're just going to start. It should be pretty short and you can learn a little bit more about Penny Lane Waffles. Penny, ready? This is great. I, you said furry friends at first, and I assumed we were talking about me. <laughs> of course. Number one! What is your pet's name? Penny Lane Waffles. Jake really wanted to name her Waffles when we got her, and I was like, no. So we named her Penny Lane, and... But I called her Waffles anyway, and she learned that that was her name, so we had to stick with it. Yeah, so her full name is Penny Lane Waffles, but she responds to a lot of things. Number two. What kind of pet is it, and what breed? It is a dog. <laughs> and she... Could you guess? <laughs> she is a Welsh Corgi of the Pembroke variety. So she doesn't have tail. Got no tails. See? No tail. Number three. How long have you had your pet friend? I don't even know. Four years now? Is that right? She'll be four in... June. June, and then we got her in August of that same year, so we've had her like a little over three and a half years. Okay. So it'll be four years at the end of the summer. Yeah. So number five, how old is your pet? She will be four next month. In June. She's, <laughs> she's very distraught about she's that. She's burrowing. <laughs> this will come up in a question later. <laughs> number five, six. Look at the camera stick. Oh no, I skipped one. Number whatever. How did you get your pet? So we found her online and she was born on this farm in the middle of Pennsylvania and the weekend she was ready to be brought home I was actually driving to New York City to visit a friend so I picked her up the weekend that I came home from New York City mm. and it was really sketchy and this farm was in the middle of nowhere and we like drove up and all the brothers and sisters were just like in this pen outside and then I went into this guy's house and he told me about her and whatnot and then he gave me a pamphlet about how I'm going to hell so Penny's first experience was what like a four-hour car ride yeah it was a really long car ride home and she refused to go to the bathroom we stopped yeah. like every half an hour at every rush stop on the turnpike trying to get her to go to the bathroom and she wouldn't and then I drove to my grandma's house and she peed right away everywhere in the yard and then when she went inside we turned the TV on and she started barking at it because her Jesus upbringing there was no TV number six what are some quirky things about your pet's personality? Where do we start? You know how ostriches like stick their heads in the ground when they're afraid? Mm. Mm. Waffles does that. She barks at us when we go to the bathroom. She'll pick a ball and that'll be the ball that she plays with that day. And we have other identical balls but she won't play with them. Just that one. Just that one ball. And then she rolls on that ball multiple times throughout the day. Just randomly. We'll what? see her. She'll be upside down. She buries chewies a lot of times. She won't eat them right away. She'll bury them and rebury them and cry when she can't find a place to bury them. And this isn't outside. This is in our couch and in our bed and under my butt sometimes. She hates wet grass. She like actually picks up her paws and sets them down gingerly in wet grass. I assume it's because she's so short and it rubs on her belly and she doesn't like it. She chases butterflies and moths when she sees them. I don't know, I, I've never had a dog that like looked up at things. Yeah. Like if she sees something in the sky, she'll stop and like... Yeah, she'll watch birds. Actually, yeah. She's a nudger. She's a nudger. She'll come up and just like nose you. She likes to be tall. She likes to be on top of things. She'll crawl up onto the back of the couch or the back of the chair. And when she was really young, she used to love to sit on Taylor's shoulders. She belches in our face all the time. I'm sure there's a lot more. I can't think of any right now, but this is one very strange dog. Number seven. What does your relationship with your pet mean to you? Well, we don't have a baby right now, so we kind of treat Penny like our kid. I think we want her to be a part of the family. We want other people to view her as just an extension of us. like. 
it should be normal for us to go somewhere and bring Penny with us because mm -hmm. that's, I guess, she's that much of a part of our lives. She really, when Jake was away at basic training and when he's gone for his drill weekends and whatnot, it's, she's one of the reasons that I stayed and stay sane, like something to take care of and something that just loves me when he's gone, so... It's interesting because you don't bother taking care of me when I'm home, so... You also can fend for yourself and get make your own dinner. It's true. I can. I'm very good at it. Yeah, so petty means a lot to us, that's for sure. What are some of your favorite pastimes with your pet? Fetch. That's all we do. Next question. And the last question is, what are nicknames that you call your pet? PL Dubs. PLW, Penwafs. Pull Dubs. Uh, I call her Princess and Monkey. I call her Crazy. Wiggle Butt. Weirdo. There's, yeah, she... She really will come to anything if you say it in the right voice. That's what he said. We hope you enjoyed our tag video, and if you want to see more videos with Penny Lane Waffles, make sure you hit the thumbs up, let us know in the comments, and as always, subscribe if you haven't already. We will try to get her in more videos if she becomes a little less camera shy over the next few weeks, months, years, who knows how long it'll take. But until next time, stay magical! I dread to die. Oh, she speaks!